everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I rarely start vlogs from my car, but it's a special vlog today. I am actually going to Nashville because it is very sad. I found out a few days ago. I've dealt with it. I'm like ready to move on, but the program I was going to do where I could go live in Brooklyn and intern there on, with Belmont was canceled. And I know I talked about it literally like two videos ago. I was like, yeah, I'm going to New York. As of now, I am planning on being in New York. <gasps> I move August 15th. Well, as we know, COVID, a year of COVID just comes with a lot of surprises, a lot of disappointments. And so I was really upset when I first heard out, of course. I was like, I'm leaving in three and a half weeks, Belmont. Like, how are you expecting me to change my class schedule and find an apartment and all of that? But you know what? I've said it's okay. I'm still in a great position. I can still move to Nashville and all of that. I have looked online at some apartments um, that my friend Lucy, who is going to go with me in New York, we're going to live together this year, obviously. And so look at some apartments online. I wanted to go visit my friend Emma this summer. I had to stay with her for the next two nights and just be in Nashville for a couple days and look at all these apartments. It's about 11 a.m. and I'm on my way. It takes about three hours for me to get there. So I'm listening to the whole new Taylor Swift folklore album. I listened to it the night it came out. And honest, to be honest, guys, I don't love sad music. Like even when I'm in a sad mood, maybe I'll listen to like one or two songs and then sad songs and then I'm like okay time to listen to some upbeat stuff or I just won't listen to music at all if I'm sad so still love Taylor Swift um even though I don't love the album I'm still gonna support her and I think she's an icon and a legend in the music industry but I'm a little upset let me know what you guys think of the album below I know a lot of people love it which is awesome it's just not my personal favorite but yeah that is the vlog welcome hope it's interesting. It's going to be a little bit different than my normal content, so I hope it's interesting for you guys. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Good. Just going Where are you? through curves. Oh, okay. Going like all on the mountain. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Yep. Okay. Just checking to see how you were doing. Love you, babe. Bye. Bye. I'm here at Emma's place. Hi. <laughs> Yay. This is her cute room for the yes. summer. Love it. Got all my stuff here and a blow up mattress that will take up <laughs> this whole space. It's okay. It'll be fine. But I'm so happy to see you. It's been yes. many months. I'm excited to see you too. All right. Emma and I ran to Walmart real quick, actually, because we wanted to bake some cookies later. Um, and now she's at a meeting for her church, but I have two hours, so I thought this would be perfect to get some work done. So I'm just sitting in her room on my laptop, and I really have to figure out some new things for my class schedule for the fall. And I thought I would show you guys what this looks like in case you're wondering what choosing classes at a different um, college is like, or if you're going into college and you want to see the process. Normally this happens like, halfway through the semester you're in for the next semester. So I chose these classes back in March, but some of them got canceled because I won't be in New York. And I wanna to try to get at least one in-person class while Belmont is still doing in-person classes. But I thought I would show you guys what this looks like. I don't think there's anything like super secretive on here. Um, it's called Degree Works. It's through Belmont. I don't know if every college uses Degree Works, but it basically shows me all the classes I've taken over my four years and which ones I still need to graduate. I'm not going to show you up top because it has like my student ID name and stuff. But like here's some of the ones I've already taken. I've taken all of my, all of these like prereqs. As you can see, look at that, it's crazy. And now I'm going into more of my business core courses. Um, so this means this is one of them I'm signed up for. And then here's all my entrepreneurship based courses. Look how cool these look, venture management business stakeholder relationships. I am pretty proud of this GPA. Then what I do is I go to this thing called Class Finder for Belmont. And so I'm gonna choose fall 2020 undergraduate. And then I can look and see what classes I wanna take. And then I look up the professors 
on Rate My Professor and see which ones are good and then sign up for those. They were like planning the whole thing out and then they texted on the group chat, wait, it's Sunday. Just things that are closed on Sunday. Hobby <gasps> Lobby and Chick-fil-A. Emma's done with her meeting. Um, but I had it yesterday and then I remember thinking yesterday, oh yeah, it's Saturday, I can get it. And then I just thought of that right now. I'm like, oh, it's Sunday. I can't get a milkshake. Darn. I was gonna get the peach one. I was so excited. But... I know, well, I did have the peach one a few weeks ago at Cookout, the peach milkshake, mm -hmm. and it was very good. Have you had their cappuccino milkshake? No. It's delicious. This milkshake may be my dinner, <laughs> actually. I had kava for lunch, which is like healthy, nutritious, filling. I think I may get the mint Oreo milkshake from Cookout or the chocolate cherry is my favorite. Decisions, decisions. And french fries. Obviously. And some french fries. We love Cookout. For people who aren't in the South, mm -hmm. it's fast food. Oh. <laughs> oh. Are you talking? <laughs> you thought I was just talking to you? So if you haven't heard of Cookout, <laughs> let me tell you about it. Yeah. Um, yeah, and they have so many amazing milkshakes, and honestly, I don't mind their food. Oh, my boyfriend's calling me. Oh, her boyfriend. Back in a you can you can answer. That's okay. I'll come back in a minute. <laughs> All right, we got some fries. I got a cheese quesadilla, mm. mint Oreo milkshake. So pretty. It's very pretty. I haven't had this one yet. Very good. Um, yeah, it's great. <laughs> you got the cappuccino milkshakes. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend. Ten out of ten. So good. Their milkshakes are really thick. So. It's not possible to drink these with a straw, so I don't know how Emma was doing that, but um, yeah, you have to eat it with a spoon for a while. <laughs> All right, my air mattress is up and it's 9 p.m. I'm gonna get ready for bed. We're gonna get ready for bed because I have to be up probably at eight tomorrow to get ready to be at my first apartment showing. At 10. Yes. Emma's on her way to Panera. Oof. Have a good work okay. day. Thank you. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. <laughs> All right, it is officially apartment tour day. I'm very, very excited. Here's my bed from yesterday, guys. Something happened and it like deflated while I was sleeping. So that wasn't very fun. I'm excited and is it such a busy day? I haven't had a busy day like this since, like I said, like before March and so yeah I my first um, apartment tour is at 10 and just get this day started we have one at 10 one at 12 30 and then one at 3 30 getting coffee and lunch in between those times and then I'm gonna try to squeeze one in after that last one but I still have to call once they open what I'm wearing today is this I have my Zara tank top this little jacket um, I got a long time ago. My belt is from Princess Polly, American Eagle shorts, and then I'll wear my Adidas Falcons tennis shoes. And I'm bringing a bag with me, this huge bag, um, with like makeup, phone charger, just everything, a change of clothes potentially, because it's gonna be like 90 something degrees out. It is the day. Okay, I like have some time, so I'm just keep talking, but I will see you guys at the first apartment. A glare or a spot. Anyway, all right, we made it to the first place. I'm 20 minutes early, so I'm gonna go in 10 minutes early to see if I can get ahead of schedule. But this area is like a little gated. It's actually it doesn't it has a gate, but it doesn't the gate wasn't closed. Um, but they're like little there's townhomes I think and apartments. Um, so all the places I'm looking at are two bedroom, two bathroom, except for one later today. Yeah, this place, um, it's in a good location and it's like 10 minutes from Belmont and close to where we do a lot of our like grocery shopping and a Target and all of that. But just to give you guys an idea for rent, because I know I watched a ton of these, like even yesterday I was watching some in my downtown downtime of just like Nashville apartment touring and I'm not going to tell you guys the names just for safety reasons because I'll end up living in one of these potentially but I will tell you guys the rent and stuff just so if you're looking to come to Nashville um, you can know and get an idea of what it costs and for what quality all of that. Also real quick I wanted to show you guys these gorgeous masks I got from Tori Birch. They were all for donation um, besides the cost of making them so they were a little bit more expensive but I legit don't have any nice masks so here's one of them. I'm gonna split it with my mom too. This is both of mom and I's favorite so we'll have to figure out who gets it but it's gorgeous and then we have like a bandana, two different like bandana looking ones so here's one and here's the other. Oh my gosh it's so cute! 
it's gonna get the insides white and I have a lot of makeup on so this is gonna get dirty but oh well it's a cute one yay <laughs> actually done it was super duper quick um it they were a lot older even though that was a renovated one um so and they didn't have a ton of light and it was a lot of space so a lot of space is nice but that means a lot of furniture and we're just two girls I don't think we needed that much space and I would rather have smaller space but be nicer and with better lighting because obviously I do this Lucy does a lot of photography mm -hmm. so not my first choice it is a good location but not my first choice i'm excited to see more like real apartment complexes not just like a little townhome area so i'm gonna run by frothy monkey now and then i have a little bit before my next touring at 12:30. So hot but just finished my second apartment tour this one was definitely nicer actually the one I'm touring tomorrow is literally right outside here that one was a much nicer more like apartment feel which is what I wanted but the problem is um, they had a few that were for under 2,000 a month which is our goal they were about like 1900 a month but they were aren't weren't available for move-in till that's actually a church I used to go to um they weren't available for move-in till September which obviously wouldn't work for us we need them in August that's when school starts that's when Lucy's flight is so the one they had that was in move-in for August was like 2300 a month and we just think that's too much for it not to be furnished either so I I think that one's probably going to be a no but I met my friend Peter because he's, he's actually where he lived um so I met him here. I went up and saw his place, which is great. And then we're there's construction right next to me. We're actually going to go to Shake Shack. I'm so hungry. It's almost one. And all I've had today is a yogurt and two coffees. What I did love about that one is the lighting and just the size is much smaller. So it would be less to furnish. The two that I really want to see, though, I haven't been to yet. It's happening after lunch and then tomorrow. So I'm excited to see those. But it's been a really good day so far. Happy to see friends I'm gonna try to show Peter Peter will be probably in this clip next but yeah I'm just really excited to get to Shake Shack this is Peter friends since freshman year first semester so you can go ahead <laughs> I'm fine thank you. I'm good too thanks hi guys <laughs> tell us some cool facts about yourself Peter um well my name is Peter um, I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana, and I go to Belmont with Hannah. 
And, and you're a business major. I'm a business major. And we met each other by chance, right? In like a group project. It was a group project. Group projects, freshman year. So. And we went, got through six credit hours of accounting together yes, last yes. year. Yes, Shout out Ori Eubanks. <laughs> he was the professor's favorite, even though that's normally my role, but it was him in that class. Anyway, we went to California Pizza Kitchen because Shake Shack was closed, but we each got the same thing, which is their lunch special. Barbecue, chicken pizza, and a Caesar salad. It's your first time here, but you haven't tried the pizza yet, but you'll have to let me know your thoughts. we Will do. I'm excited. It's pretty empty, which is good, so... He tore that last one with me, which was nice of him. Um, but that last one, de I'm about to text someone. Definitely my favorite out of today's. Um, it's very clean and nice. The only thing is that the pictures online weren't the same as that. Like it was the same building, but it was not the same layout at all. So I was expecting a much bigger layout, which is kind of annoying, like walking in and it not being what you were expecting from the pictures online on the listing. But the only thing I really didn't love was the bathroom situation. Again, the one, the video or the photos online, it was a nicer, newer, bigger bathroom. Um, and we'd just be sharing it. The rooms were practically the same size. It did feel small, but honestly, it smells nice because it is unfurnished and so it would mean less furniture. It had a little patio, which is nice, and a lot of windows and white and clean and bright. So I love that about it. It's the only one I'm looking at. It's like the all white kitchen with the white walls, which is just really nice. She also had, the tenant had a lot of stuff in there. So I think it made it feel tighter too. I think if like it was cleaned and like had our furniture and stuff, it would feel a little bit more roomy and open. But other than that, I really enjoyed it. And I talked to her and the utility bill was pretty low. Um, I asked her like what she pays in utilities and it was pretty low. Oh, um, and so that one is about 1900 a month just to let you guys know for the two bedroom one bathroom but it's in a higher priced area so yeah the only thing is it doesn't have like that apartment feel because it's condos so it's not like a big gym and a pool which I don't even think you can really use that stuff now but they did have a small gym and actually a recording studio like a really small soundproof room welcome to Nashville when there's an apartment or a condo with a recording room I'm really tired right now, but I got to see where Emma's at to meet it back up with her. It's now four o'clock. It has been a very long day, but it's good. Got a lot done. So I'm literally about to fall asleep. Maybe I need to get a coffee. No, I've already had two today. Maybe I'll get, a, I don't know what I need. I need water actually, that's what I need. another morning it is Tuesday morning I am uh, wanted to just go straight home today from Emma's apartment um, I just said bye to her it was a great two days um, but I had to get one more apartment showing in because this next apartment is one that we Lucy and I were really considering because it is fully furnished yeah we'll see I'm excited for this to be fully furnished because that takes away a ton of stress and saves a little bit of money. It would make more sense for Lucy and I to get a empty apartment and furnish it if we knew we were gonna be in Nashville for the next two years, junior and senior year. However, Lucy and I have talked about it, how we wanna try to do the Belmont East program, the New York program again next fall. So doing what we were gonna do this fall, but next fall. And so we would only need an apartment for really nine months and then we'd probably both go home for the summer, then go to New York in the fall, then back to Nashville January 2022 right before we graduate so it's crazy how you have to like think this far in advance, but you got to you know, so 
that's why we're leaning more towards this one if everything goes as planned. So I'm really excited to see this last apartment. Um, it being fully furnished would be about 2300 a month, but if you got it unfurnished, it'd probably be closer to 1900 which is in the price range of the other ones I've looked at. Uh, so yeah, I will definitely show you guys the video and we will discuss afterwards what my thoughts are. Alrighty friends, tour is over. Going out of the parking garage now. So, I loved this building. It had a gorgeous pool, gorgeous lobby, gorgeous other little areas you can like check out. But we have some problems in our plans. This one, we were gonna go through a company called Hello Landing, which makes it all furnished and everything and move in ready. But I talked to my tour lady and she said they're discontinuing their contract this year. So we may not be able to live there after a few months with it fully furnished. So this one was now around $2,091, I think a month plus utilities and not furnished. So we'd also be spending quite a bit of money to furnish it, beds, all of that, which I was really hoping we weren't gonna have to do. Our plan to have the one where it was gonna be furnished in that place would have been perfect, but it didn't work out. So figuring out what's gonna happen, I, I'm gonna drive for a little bit, I'm now heading home. I'm gonna drive for a little bit, call mom, talk to Lucy, figure out a little bit. I still wanna hear your guys' opinion, of course. Love you guys. So tell me what you think of all of the buildings and the rent in Nashville. If you think it's, I know it's expensive, but Nashville is just an expensive city nowadays. Yeah, I really just am kind of at loss right now. I need to talk to some people about it. I'm gonna get on the highway, be safe and not vlog, and I will talk to you guys later. Hello friends, editing Hannah here. I realized I got home last night, I was so tired, talked to parents, talked to Lucy. We still haven't come up with a decision and it is noon on Wednesday, the day this is going up. Still in the works, we're looking at actually one other place, making some phone calls, but I will let you guys know once it's decided in an upcoming video and obviously there will be moving vlogs, you will see, but this means I actually do, really do wanna hear your all's opinion on everything so leave which place was your favorite in the comments and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog this video if you're moving to Nashville soon I hope this was maybe helpful and thank you guys for sticking to the end let me know if you watched all the way to the end because you guys are the best and I'm just so thankful for you all right let's get this video up Hannah <laughs>